Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah, dear viewers, welcome back to the third and final segment of this show. Today, the 10th episode, Alhamdulillah, we were covering uh, cells, uh, which is really a fantastic uh, topic. And this uh, topic is also some kind of mysterious, which creates mysteries in uh, our, our thinking and um, which is um, uh, giving some kind of food for our thought. And in the meantime, we have I had some questions uh, uh, put forward for you. Perhaps you are ready with those questions. And once you are ready, come forward with your answer. We will appreciate your call, inshallah. Now, we would like to sum up all these things. But before that, let us remind you of those questions one again, once again. The first question was on labeling the typical parts of a, uh, labeling the uh, main parts of, the, of a typical uh, plant cell. And also, second question was, uh, which are the processes that a living thing must follow in order to live? There are seven processes a, a living thing must follow. Okay? And the third question was to match up all the uh, yep. systems, systems, organ systems, and, and the organs. And the organs. Mm. There are the systems which uh, organs follow which systems of uh, cells types of cells uh, and the organs. So if you can come up with all these uh, questions, answers of the questions, uh, definitely we we'll get 10 points for each correct answer. Now let me uh, request uh, Brother Nasrul uh, Islam, mm -hmm. who is an um, assistant head teacher of uh, Swanli High School and uh, science subject specialist. Could you please sum up all these things we have so far learned from you? Okay, great. Um, can we have a look at slide 27? Uh, can you see slide 27, please? Yes. Okay, so we've been looking at the cell, and the cell is the uh, building block of all living things. And there are some main parts of the cell that we need to know, such as the cell membrane, and this controls what comes in and out of the cell. Um, we have also the cell wall, which we find in a plant cell, and this provides a rigid outer layer and gives the cell its shape because we said plants don't have bones. We uh, can remind our children, our viewers, to note them down actually. These are fantastic, yeah. uh, very briefly and succinctly. Then provided. also, mm. also in a plant cell we have a chloroplast mm -hmm. and the chloroplast is a part of the cell where photosynthesis takes place, mm -hmm. where the plants convert carbon dioxide and water into glucose. And we also have looked at the cytoplasm. And the cytoplasm is found inside both animal and plant cell. And it is where the chemical reactions occur. We also have a nucleus inside the cell. And this is like the control center of the cell and tells it what to do. And also contains the chromosomes and the DNA that we spoke about. We also looked at how cells, when they come together, they can make a tissue. And this is when cells are working together. And then tissues, when they work together, they make what we call an organ. Mm. And when organs come together, we call this a system. And finally, we just got the vacuole, which is a space inside uh, a, a cell, which uh, will contain a starch or other uh, watery kind of sap. Jazakallahu khairan for beautifully covering these things. All these things, actually, the ins and outs of a cell and the um, uh, mysterious uh, worlds of uh, the cells and how a cell grows uh, to be uh, some tissues and also those tissues uh, turns to be an organ and those organs again build up a, an animal. Alhamdulillah, these, these are uh, fascinating. Now we will cover on this uh, final segment, a beautiful, uh, which is uh, in uh, one stage, they are uh, contradictory maybe, although though, uh, we would uh, like to ask uh, questions uh, to our um, mm -hmm. uh, guest today about these things, evolution. Okay. What is evolution? The theory of evol ev evolution, we've heard of it, that um, uh, Darwin uh, said yes. uh, people, hum humans came from uh, ape. Okay. Uh, <laughs> when yeah. we don't believe in uh, yeah. Uh, science has so far proved that it's, it's, mm. it's, it's just a theory, it's not a fact. Yeah. It can't be actually. Mm. Could you please tell us about these things? Uh, and we will, I would ask you about uh, how students are being taught about evolution at school. 
Okay. Could you please tell us first thing that what is evolution all about? Okay, so uh, this is a good question. And first of all, like you say, when we talk about evolution, you're right, um, evolution is a, is a theory. So we talk about the theory of evolution. And a, a theory is something that hasn't been proven as a fact. Um, sometimes, yes, people may talk about it like it is a, a fact, um, but actually, uh, as a scientist, and when we come and study science, there are conditions needed uh, in order for you to say that something is a scientific fact, such that you can study that, um, that situation or that uh, object, um, and then you make an observation, and then you can repeat it many times, and you make the same observation over and over and over again. So then we can say something that makes it a scientific fact. For example, boiling water, we know that if I boil water, it boils at 100 degrees centigrade. And this will happen all the time, as long as the pressure is constant. Um, so this is a scientific fact, water boils at 100 degrees. But when it comes to the theory of evolution, you see it's not something that we can uh, test in the laboratory. So therefore, scientifically speaking, it is a theory, it's an idea. What is it an idea for? It is an idea for um, how uh, somebody wants to explain the origin of species. Species. Yeah. yeah, the origin of species, or you could say the origin of living things even. And so Charles Darwin, um, in the 1800s, um, he formulated this, uh, this uh, op opinion or this theory that he presented, um, which he titled in a quite a famous book, The Origin of Species um, by uh, Natural Selection. Natural Selection. So. And so this was his idea that he uh, presented um, as, as a scientist of how he believed um, species could have originated. And so he spent uh, a number of years uh, traveling um, especially I I in along the, the and on the islands of Galapagos mm. and these islands he recorded the different species that existed there he made some observations and then he, he made some conclusions based on that but again what's important here is that the conclusions that he made are what we would call uh, he inferred meaning that he they were these were conclusions that based upon his observations but you can he could not test mm. It's not something that you could test and prove to be a scientific fact. Mm, that's why. Yeah. But the thing actually comes up, yeah, yeah, what makes us confused is that some people still believe that they have linked it to their faith. Or they say that, look, people who don't believe uh, in uh, existence of God, they have a mm, base in terms of uh, prov uh, you know, proving that. Uh, people, humans are from uh, apes, uh, and that human apes uh, originally was something a, a one cell uh, species, li living things, which is amoeba or whatever. Yeah. So, like this, and afterwards uh, it turned to mm, an, a, an ape uh, gradually, you know, then that ape turned to a human. So, uh, mm. here comes a question missing link. I think if you could um, uh, give some light on missing links. Okay. I think that will clarify better uh, a person, uh, a layman like me, for example, okay. about science, that this is the thing uh, which we, through which we can prove that uh, if theory of ev evolution is just a theory. It's not a fact. It cannot prove that humans are originated from apes. Yeah, so ev even in the theory of evolution, different scientists may have a a different, slightly different view or opinion on it. Um, I mean, there are some who will say it's not that uh, humans originated from apes, but they might say that they originated from the same original species. So they are, in some sense, they might say they are cousins of each other. Mm. Okay, so there are different views uh, on this uh, issue. But the point being is that uh, the, uh, the fundamentals of evolution is that all species have originated from a common uh, species or common ancestor. Okay, so that, that is the point. Now, in terms of, okay, what does this theory um, uh, of evolution actually depend on? And this is something, you're, you, like you said, is something that we study and is studied in, in schools. 
And you know, as a piece of yeah, science. This is one of my questions though. Mm -hmm. How uh, are the students being taught at school evolu theory of evolution? Yeah, so as, as a piece of science and as a um, uh, scientific thing, uh, kind of uh, a theory that's presented, it's something that is studied in schools. Um, but we need to be aware that it's not a, uh, a, a theory that is agreed upon by everybody. There is uh, discussion, there is debate, but it does allow one uh, if you were to study this, it you know, makes you question. It does make you question, okay, so if uh, evolution isn't um, how uh, species originated, then how did species originate? So in that sense, you know, it does help create curiosity and make one question, make one think about the origin of, of humans, origin of people, and, mm. uh, and, and where we came from and how we are the way that we are today. And there is actually a debate um, happening in different societies as to uh, how we should discuss and how we should uh, study uh, these particular ideas. So in America, for example, there are groups of uh, large groups of Christians mm -hmm. who would definitely say that evolution is a, uh, is a wrong idea, is incorrect. And they you know, strongly present uh, what they call the creationist um, mm. uh, understanding. And of course, as, as Muslims as well, you know, we... Can we find it if, uh, through Googling it? Yes, of course, yeah. We can, if, if what what do you have to write? I, if you were to Google about, um, let's say, uh, criticism of mm. evolution okay. or creation uh, versus evolution, you could find a discussion and a debate happening okay. mm. as to, you know, which... Uh, there are what plenty what of what debates different, different on YouTube are. actually on Absolutely, this yeah. particular topic. So you can actually Google it and you can search about the theory, theory of you know, oh, the a uh, you know, the lackings of uh, faults of theory of ev evolution, whatever you want to type, it Google it and you can find all these things. So you've already covered this uh, mm, question there. How was the formulated? So you can just uh, give a light on it, and on top of that. Could you please tell us about adaptation? Okay. Because something you know, it's uh, uh, narrowly linked to narrowly, you know, um, contra. I don't know how does it work. Is um, tell us about a kind of adaptation, okay. evolution. So, what are the difference between these two uh, concepts, yeah. so adaptation and evolution? Yeah. Before they tell us lightly, sure. slightly about. Uh, how was the theory of evolution formulated? Sure. So adaptation is actually something that we can observe. And we can see um, animals and organisms are adapted to survive in the environment. So, for example... Is adaptation a fact? Adaptation is something observable and you observable. can say is, is a fact, yeah. Because yeah. it's observable, it's something we can observe now and we can observe in many um, organisms. So, for example, a giraffe mm. has a long neck which is allows it to eat uh, leaves off tall trees. So this is an adaptation of a giraffe. A, a camel has large feet. It allows it to walk on the sand. So this is an adaptation of a camel. Um, you could say a, 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 a seal has a, a, a thick skin, blubber, mm, blubber, fat, which allows it to keep warm in, in cold. A polar bear has white uh, fur, fur. allows it to camouflage. So all of these are adaptations. And so yes, we can observe adaptations in organisms. And actually Charles Darwin, he observed these adaptations of organisms on the Galapagos Islands okay. of different, for example, different okay. birds. Thank you very much. We have a call left to uh, take this call. Hello, let's see who is on the line. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Hello, is that calling? Assalamu alaikum, this well, is um, Ali. Hello Ali, how are you? Hi. Hi Ali, what would you like to ask questions? I just wanted to ask, uh, I didn't understand what evolution... You've been placed on... Okay then. Hello there. Okay. You, you've asked about evolution, isn't it? Okay, so as much as we have got from his uh, call, from what we wanted to say, I think this cut off, okay. that what he didn't get the uh, concept of evolution. Could you please give, uh, okay. uh, clarify a bit more yeah. in a simpler way? Sure. So in a simple way... Keep, keep listening, keep watching, Ali. So in a yeah. simple way, the theory of evolution states that 
organisms that we have today, they originated from a simple uh, organism, uh, a single cell, until we have these complicated and complex organisms that we have today. And it occurred by random mutation. Okay. Okay, random mutation, basically by chance. Mm -hmm. It happened by chance until some organisms were better suited to their environment to survive mm -hmm. and other organisms were less suited and so they died off, they became extinct. Okay. And so this is called the survival of, of the, the fittest. fittest. Okay. Now you're right, when we study evolution it can be a, um, a bit of a complex discussion mm -hmm. because there are many parts to it mm -hmm. and actually uh, in each of these parts there are also many questions that we can ask. Okay, evolution, theory of evolution is basically formulated and it was um, invented, you can say, by Charles Darwin, who had natural selections and through his natural selections and observation, he had um, produced this theory of uh, evolution. And theory of evolution actually covers uh, the things uh, how human uh, race is evolved from. This is the things actually theory of, theory of evolution. So if you can uh, study uh, further on the internet and YouTube, perhaps you'll be able to know more about these things. Jazakallah Ali for your beautiful call. I uh, would like to uh, ask more callers, more uh, viewers to call us and ask questions and we'll definitely will come forward with your answers. Now tell, tell, tell us about these things then. Uh, evolution and adaptation. I think you yeah. were continuing. Could you please? Yeah, of course. So uh, finish your. So we said that your adaptation is how uh, animals and organisms have characteristics that allow them to survive in their particular environment, and that's something we can observe. That's fine. Evolution would say that they've, because they have uh, these uh, these adaptations have come about by chance, mm. by random mutation. And from random mutation, some animals are better adapted than others. And so those animals which are better adapted, they survive. Those animals which are less well adapted, they die. And so this is the process of ev evolution that is uh, presented. Now, of course, we, there are some questions, like you said before, that we have to uh, raise here and ask. Uh, and even as a scientist, uh, even as a good scientist, these are questions that we have to ask about this theory, this idea, and does it actually, um, does this theory actually work, or is this theory can it be true? Mm. In this, in this uh, case, could you please tell us about uh, the different opinions with regard to the theory of evolution? Yeah, absolutely. And so, there are some some scientists who will say definitely uh, evolution is like a fact and it's true. Um, and they would present their evidences and their views. And there are many other scientists who uh, would say that actually evolution is, is, is not a fact. In fact, they would actually argue against it and say that it can't, cannot be true. Okay? And especially for people who have a religion or a faith or a belief, like Muslims or, or Christians and others, um, of course, our, 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 faith, our belief is also based on the Qur'an. Mm -hmm. um, and for other religions, theirs is on their books. Mm -hmm. And so we believe that um, uh, man um, came from uh, Adam uh, and, and Eve, you could yeah. say. Uh, also, just to add to you, your, your uh, talk, uh, as far as I've uh, read about the theory of evolution, uh, particularly Darwin's uh, natural selection, uh, the discussion uh, on his uh, writing, on his task, I've come across that people who went through this book, who uh, read this book, they said that there is not a single, single uh, opinion of Darwin where Darwin confirmed that. Where he didn't, uh, there isn't any statement where he said that. Yes, the theory of evol evolution is something which I can confirm, which is not an ob observation, which is something you know uh, true or yeah. fact. I mean, I I in his book, there is a, a chapter of the book which is about the difficulties in the theory. Okay. So obviously Darwin, you know, as, as a scientist, he himself did present, you know, his some view evidence for his idea, and he also presented. He explained that there were some um, difficulties uh, in terms of why his idea, uh, you know, would be true. For example, he did talk about transitional forms. 
So he said that, look, if we have evolution, then you should see uh, many uh, species. This is what Darren said, yeah? This, yeah? Is, this is in his book. Okay. Even he mentioned that you would see that one species should be changing into another species. Mm -hmm. And if we have evolution taking place over um, a, a long period of time, then you should see this these changing of species happening okay. all the time. I think there's another caller waiting on the line. Let's see who's on, on the line. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Yes, who's the calling? I am Muhammad Alali. Uh, Muhammad, could you please uh, tell us which year are you now? Huh? Which year? Year. I'm in year eight. Yeah, are you talking, Muhammad? What's your question? My question is, what is the process of germination and what is the simple formula for photosynthesis? Was the, what is the process of germination? And, and what is the simple formula for photosynthesis? What is the simple formula for? For photosynthesis. Okay. So, okay, yeah, yeah. So, so, so ger yeah. germination, um, keep I mean, keep watching, please. Yeah. we won't be able to go into uh, detail here, um, but it's, it is when a, a, a seed um, starts to uh, give a, a root um, uh, so it germinates, so mm. a, a seed producing a root um, uh, so that it can start to grow. Um, maybe if we go to the second question about photosynthesis, which is a bit more to do with what we talked about today. Mm. Um, photosynthesis, the, there is a uh, word uh, equation that students have to know. And this word equation is carbon dioxide uh, plus water. Mm -hmm. Not down, not yeah. down, Muhammad. Yeah, carbon dioxide plus water. Yeah, carbon dioxide plus water. Then you have an arrow, mm -hmm. and then this makes glucose, glucose mm. plus oxygen. Mm. And there are two in conditions um, for, photosynthesis. for photosynthesis. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So one condition we say is chlorophyll, mm. um, which we talked about before. Chloroplast. The chloroplast. Yeah. So chlorophyll is found in the chloroplast, and also you need sunlight. Okay. So that's the uh, equation for uh, photosynthesis, a simple equation. Jazakallah yeah. khairan to beautifully cover this. Thing. Perhaps you have heard uh, Muhammad and those who are still watching this show, could you please call us on 0207096045. You can ask questions like Muhammad and other students who called us a couple of uh, minutes ago and you can come forward with the answers. We would appreciate you calling inshallah. Now you've just told us that there are plenty of scientists disagreeing mm. with this uh, view of uh, Darwin, Charles Darwin. So um, the world actually of science uh, hasn't accepted it as a, as a fact definitely. Well I think uh, I'd probably say that the world of science uh, on the whole on the, in some ways does talk about evolution as though it is true, as though it is fact. But, you know, that probably depends on which uh, country you're in or which um, group of scientists, you know, we, we are reading about. But like, like we said before, there are other very notable, very um, uh, educated, qualified mm. scientists who disagree. And maybe if I just go back to the last point about to transitional forms. So because this is a, um, a question about uh, evolution that Darwin even raised that if you were to have evolution taking place, then we should have evolution even taking place now in our time. Mm. So that means even now we should see many different species changing mm -hmm. to a different species. But we don't see that. Okay. Because what yeah. we see, so <laughs> right now uh. in the world we have 1.5 million different species. Mm. Out of that 1.5 million different species, all these species are complete and fully formed. Okay. What we don't see is one species changing into another. Okay. Do you see? There, there are more interesting uh, things uh, we in, in, in this uh, theory of e evolution, actually, which, uh, like yeah. I said, a uh, missing link. Inshallah, we will cover these things, but we're going to be wrapping up soon. But before that, I would like to ask you about uh, this thing, a question with regard to the theory of origin of man. Mm -hmm. uh, what the Quran tells us, because I, I can see that you, Alhamdulillah, you've got some knowledge about mm -hmm. Islam, uh, you are Muslim uh, s uh, scientist. So could you please tell us about what does the Quran say about the origin of man? Okay. Very yeah. shortly, because we are sure. going to pack up. Sure. So, uh, in terms of the origin of man, 
Um, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala makes it clear that He created mankind. So there's uh, many verses of Quran that m mention this, such as Khalaqal uh, insana min nutfa. That it was He who created mankind from this, um, uh, this fluid. Mm -hmm. And you know, this, this point about creation. Okay. We'll give a call. Mm -hmm. Let's take the call shortly. Let's see who is on the line. Assalamu alaikum. Hello, Kula. Assalamu alaikum. Uh, hello, Assalamu alaikum. I'm Mizan. Uh, Mizan. Yeah. Yes, Mizania. Uh, which year are you now? Yes, six. Hey, Mizania, go ahead with your question. What is terminal velocity? Okay. Terminal velocity. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's a good question. Okay, I think. Uh, I think they're doing the homework. Uh, homework. <laughs> you're doing homework. Yeah, it's good. Okay. How about keep listening? Keep watching. Yeah. Okay. Quickly. Should we give a quick answer to terminal velocity? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so terminal velocity is the highest speed or highest velocity that a falling object reaches. So this is physics. I yeah, it's physics. Maybe for another day. Yeah, okay, we will cover physics another day. Although we appreciate your call, alhamdulillah. You say it again, please. Yeah, so the highest velocity a falling object reaches. The highest velo velocity a falling object reaches is yeah. terminal velocity. Thank you for your call, uh, Mizan. This is a beautiful call from Mizan, year six. Okay. So the Quran, because you know, as could you please just tell us about this quickly? Yeah. The, um, so uh, the Quranic message is uh, is a very simple message that we know that Allah Subhanahu wa Taala He created all things, the heavens, the earth, and everything, and, and everything in it. So we have an ayah in, of Quran in Surah Baqarah, uh, very early on. He says, "Huwa ladi khalaqa lakum ma fil ardi jamia." So it is He who created. Everything in the earth for you, um, you know, so we can see that Allah is the creator of, 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 of everything. everything. And in terms of man himself, um, the verses are clear that uh, Allah created the first man, which is Adam. And from Adam, Allah uh, brought out and created Eve. Mm -hmm. And so origin of man in terms of Islamic belief, we believe mankind originated from Adam and Eve. So mm -hmm. we don't believe that they... Uh, came about through the process of evolution. And the schools of uh, scientific facts and uh, theories uh, comply with those of Islam. So yeah, well, yeah, again, this is obviously. We will, inshallah, a cover those a things yeah, another day. Yeah, you can uh, just uh, highlight a couple yeah, of things. Yeah, so we can highlight a quick point. If we look at science, the, major so the first, points. first question we said look, we don't see uh, really transitional forms, whether today uh, in the species, nor do we find them really even in fossil records. Because what some evolutionists would look at is l we have to look at fossil records to see the changing over time. But actually when we look at fossil records, what we see is we see complete um, species and organisms in their complete form. Okay. okay. And maybe just one last point I would make, which is that even a, a, an organ to come about like an eye, how would the eye come about through um, a random process? Mm -hmm. um, how would that be formed? Uh, it doesn't really, um, scientifically even, you would have to question, is that, is that possible? Okay, Jazakumullah for covering all these things beautifully. Uh, dear viewers, uh, brothers and sisters and the children who are watching this show, perhaps you have gained uh, a lot of uh, knowledge about uh, cells and also adaptations and uh, plenty of things from biology. And the teacher has uh, beautifully and uh, in, the, in, the, in the nicest manner, he covered uh, plenty of things, course of uh, questions and also some, uh, some queries from our viewers, alhamdulillah. Uh, the more you learn, the more you will be able to uh, know and the more you will be able to know, the more you will be able to confident, you'll be confident and you are confident, that means the world is in your hand. So we'd like to um, um, uh, give you a thank you and also we would like to um, uh, say Jazakumullah to all of you who are watching this show. We will come with uh, more uh, interesting uh, episodes, more interesting topics like um, physics, uh, the chemistry inshallah. Okay, stay tuned in uh, for future episodes uh, as um, long as you are watching this show and those who have watched this show would like to say thank you all of you and also would like to say Jazakallah to brother Nasrud Lafudi for his time uh, in the uh, studio. Uh, alhamdulillah, uh, no more today. Uh,
make to us, uh, then we can come uh, to you with more things in, in the future. Until then, stay well. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu.